New York and on the new Hot 97 app, Ebro in the Morning. On Hot 97. Drake recently joined Lil Wayne on an episode of Young Money Radio. By the way, I'm very impressed that you that you guys got a Wayne to do this. Who? But who Apple? Yeah, I'm just because you know Wayne does what he wants. Yeah, you know? yeah. I think he had been doing a lot of uh he had been doing a lot of appearances like on sports with sports on ESPN or people doing little podcasts, and he wanted to do his own thing. So he opened it up for him. Nice. Well, um, in addition to discussing the Dark Elaine demo tapes, he got intimate during the interview and talked about uh, fatherhood. Check it out. Posted fix of him, man. It's dope. I can't wait to meet my little nephew, man. Welcome, yes, to, father- man. Welcome, welcome to fatherhood, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, man. man. That's a, that's a I posted those pictures. It was great for me. You know, it was great to just, you know, share that with the world. And it wasn't even anything I, I talked to anybody about or anything I planned. I just woke up one morning and I was like, you know what? This is just something that, that I want to do. I want to be able to, to go places with my son and share memories with my son. I don't want to feel like just because of a life choice I made to be quote unquote celebrity that mm-hmm. I gotta like make everybody live under this blanket. A certain so, way, exactly. Yeah. I just wanted to free myself of that. And you know, I've watched you be a functioning rap father for years, an incredible <laughs> father, you know, Thank and you. That gave me a lot of confidence, too. A, a lot of us, like, you know, Chains is a great father. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the yeah. guys that we came up around, that was really inspiring for me just to know that, like, you know, I can still keep pushing forward as a musician and be there for my son. That's it was, tight. It was a dope, it was a dope combo. It went on, I want to say it went on for, like, 15 minutes, maybe a little longer. There's also um, a tease potentially collaborating on more on more music too, and it was interesting to hear Wayne ask Drake, like, "Yo, man, when we getting on one of those joints again?" The world yes, want to know when is we gonna get a people another joint, man? Me and you, bro. Really do. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready anytime. Now, something about me and Drizzy songs that we do together, we are both yes. perfectionists. We have this thing where it's like, well. You know, if I'm going to send you a joint and I'm going to go first, first of all, I already know. It's like, all right, I know this man's about to go crazy on me. So in rap, there's no score to define nah. a winner or there's no championship game. So this, these are the moments of competition. That's the, but it is a con- exactly. I was about to say, oh, yeah. it's, still, it's, still <laughs> yeah. te- it's still technical. Exactly. It's still strategic. And it's exactly. very much competition. You have my word as a man. And Mac, Mac, you can hold me to this when we get off the phone. I'm going to be in the studio. I'm going to be in the studio all weekend. By midweek, maybe Monday night, you will have, you I will got have something. at least two joints. Say less. Yes. Say less. There you go. Mm. Okay. Now, now, Drake did tell us, too, after he put out the, what is it, Dark Lane demo, demo tapes. tapes. He said on his Instagram he's putting out another project this summer. Like, mm-hmm. that's not even, he's putting out an actual album, so maybe that's where we'll get these records. There you go.